Hi guys, Sophia here from CoachSophiaFitness.com and today I want to talk to you about what happened to me when I stopped meditating for a week or so. If you are new to my channel, I help people with chronic back pain and performance syndrome heal naturally through corrective exercises, mindset and nutrition. So today I want to talk specifically about uh, the mindset part of healing and also, you know, kind of what happened to me when I stopped meditating. So I used to talk uh, quite a bit about uh, my mindfulness routine on my website, on the blog, way before starting this channel. So I don't really remember talking about this or making a video about this before. I have to go back and check, but I don't remember having a video that talked about my meditation routine, but I did share that on the blog. But just to summarize, um, seven years or eight years ago when I was first diagnosed with performance syndrome, spinal arthritis, you know, disc herniation, all this list of chronic conditions and um, you know, I was doing all the right things, but my mindset was not, you know, it was not on point. Like, I didn't have a healing mindset. I felt broken. I felt just doomed. I felt desperate, you know, even depressed sometimes. And I really had to change that if I was going to find, you know, any hope or any, or, or even see any results. Because I could tell that my mindset was sabotaging my results. So I decided to, you know, read a lot of books on mindset, uh, goal setting, you know, mindfulness meditation. I learned a lot, you know, in that area and I was implementing what I was learning. And uh, I read the book, The Morning, uh, The Miracle Morning. And I took some tips from that book as well, try to implement it, you know, into my morning and create a routine that was personal to me. And that's how my morning routine was put together so i would wake up in the morning i would do a mindfulness meditation to check in with my body i would journal about how i was feeling i was scripting my affirmations i was doing a lot of visualization to see how i wanted my health to feel and be like and what i wanted to achieve you know with my life and you know i would also do some um Sometimes I would listen to guided meditation with uh, affirmations in them. So I had all of these things that I would do each day and it doesn't really take that long. Like if I don't have that much time, I'll just do a short meditation. So it's not like you have to do it for a whole hour, even though you can. So every day was different, but the morning routine was very... Um, like it was stable. It was something that I did every single day and it really centered me in. And I would also write what I wanted to accomplish out of my day, you know, all the outcomes, uh, what I was going to do to support my body. It was like I was talking to my body, you know, what do you need today? What, how can I support you today? It was just really listening to my body and kind of structuring my day based on how I felt. And I know you're going to say, you know, it's hard when you're working everything. I had a job back at a time, you know, really strict job and and so i still did this i woke up half an hour earlier every day and i did this routine and you know what if i didn't feel good that day i would call in sick because i had to listen to my body so the most powerful thing that i have uh, got from this routine was build mindfulness so i would literally feel when something is off and even uh, throughout the day when i eat something i could feel it right away because i was in tune with my body through that mindfulness meditation i could feel when something is off when i did something or like an exercise or anything so it helps you build that uh, mind body connection uh, more like you it just you strengthen your mind muscle connection as well and so i don't know what happens but you know after a while um, you know, something shifted. I remember I made a few mistakes. It, it can be really easy to get off track. You know, that's that's another lesson out of this is because you have to always uh, cultivate a strong mindset to do the things that you need to do. And it can be really easy just for something to get you off track. And for me, it was just checking my phone first in the morning. And that's something that I would never normally do. I would always keep my phone on, on flight mode or just disable the Wi-Fi so that I'm not getting notifications. But I think for a few days, I would just, the first thing I would do is like I check my phone and that just, you know, kind of destroy, destroyed the routine. And so that got me off track. Um, I would start just looking at notifications and then right away I'll see emails. So when I see email from clients or, you know, just comments on my blogs like, oh, I have to respond right now. So I would get on the computer and start responding. 
and then oh, I'll do the routine afterward, but it never happens. So I'll just, the moment I sit on the computer and I start seeing comments and I start seeing emails from clients, I start just, you know, get into that work mode. It's really hard to take a break. And that was the start of it. So what happened was a few days in, I started noticing that I wasn't like my lack of focus. I was jumping from one task to the next without getting anything done. So I was busy, but I didn't get much done. I wasn't productive. And I was like, just scrolling social media. I noticed I'll be on my phone like every five minutes just scrolling on Instagram and wasting time. There wasn't really anything I was learning. Like I asked myself, like, what are you getting out of this scrolling? You know, and it's like a habit, you know, the more you do it, the more you do it. The, yeah, the first thing that happened was lack of focus. I wasn't, my productivity suffered a lot. And then a few days in, I was feeling anxious. You know, I was feeling stressed. And because I wasn't doing those mind, you know, mindfulness check-ins every morning, everything was building up and I, there was no way to let it out. Because what I used to do is I would just journal about my feelings. If something is bothering me in my head, I'll put it on paper and I'll just, you know, focus on, you know, solutions and I'll just map everything out on paper. And then after that, my mind is clear to start the day. And also by mapping out my priorities for the day, I know what I have to get done. I could focus on them and move on, but I didn't, I stopped doing those things. So the whole day was just unplanned, you know, everything was a mess. It was chaos. And I remember after a few days, I stopped everything and I decided to do the routine at 3 p.m. I was like, this is not working, you know, I'm just checking social media. I feel so much anxiety, I'm stressed, I don't know what I'm working on right now. Everything is, is suffering. And I decided to stop in that afternoon and go and do the morning routine that afternoon, like what I normally do in the morning. And again, it changed everything from then. You know, it was crazy how many pages I wrote in my journal just you know writing about how I'm feeling you know and just writing about what's stressing me out what I'm not sure about and just letting all of those worries on paper you know was such a weight off of my shoulders so you know and the reason why I want to make this video is I just noticed how many people like majority of people don't have a morning ritual or morning routine. And I wonder how they're able to live or how they're able to get anything done. I don't know, you know, and it's, it's like from my experience right now, doing the, the morning routine for years and years and stopping it for one week and noticing that, like, is that really how majority of people are spending their times? And I wonder how much more productive people can be, how much more focused and how much things we can get done if we had a morning routine to force, to first uh, check in with ourselves, work on the mindset before going and, and, and uh, giving our energy out. Because if you don't have anything, in, I don't know how you can give, you know, and also, you know, First thing in the morning, checking your phone. Um, I think it's really important to feed your mind with powerful messages because just like you're feeding your body with healthy foods, you need to feed your mind with healthy food, right? Like healthy thoughts, healthy uh, ideas. And when I noticed first scrolling on Facebook, like first thing in the morning, I'll see like some bad news or some image and it was really bad. It's like, I don't wanna see this first thing in the morning. So it's like, just the first thing in the morning and you're seeing all of the bad stuff and you're feeding your mind with all of the bad news and you know just negativity i think we have to have control over our minds and it's our responsibility uh to put in our minds empowering thoughts and to only put things in it that will support you into achieving your goals so before you go and you read the news or you check on Facebook or all these, or even email, make sure that you are working on your mindset first. You are in the right mindset and you feel energized and you feel centered before going out to the world. And even if you have, you know, you're working right now, just schedule 15 minutes earlier. Like, can you not wake up 15 minutes earlier to do this? And it doesn't have to, you don't have to be doing everything that I did. You can just start with some mindfulness meditation or just sit in silence. You don't even have to meditate. Just sit in silence and scan your body 
from head to toe and see where the um, where you are holding on to stress where just something doesn't feel right how are you feeling here how is your chest is, is it are you holding on anxiety ask yourself what's happening what's bothering me right now write that stuff down let it out and then ask yourself how can I support myself today what can I do to help me move forward with my goals my health goals and write that down and also write down three things that you want to accomplish today you know you can read you can write some affirmations and read them I read them sometimes when I'm making breakfast when I don't have time but it's important again to work on your mindset so that you are starting your day with so much energy and you know what you're working towards so again I will link to my blog post below because I wrote a blog post about this that contains just a little more details but um, this is just an invitation to create a morning routine. I do have a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a morning routine. I will link that below as well. And I am sure that it will transform your health and your life as well. This is not just about healing. You can incorporate this to any area or any goal of your life, You know, whether that's career or business or relationship, whatever you want to improve in your life, you can you know, implement all of those tools toward that. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any feedback or anything you want to say about this, please comment below and I will see you guys in the next video.